Ten years ago, Wombwell Town Centre, like many of its neighbouring towns, was going along day by day with very little happening or changing. Two businesses got together who hoped to change this in time with the encouragement from local businesses to come together and get involved with letters sent out to the community for local volunteers. It was slow to start at first, but after a while it started to pick up with more and more businesses joining, up to a total of 40 today. I'm here with Andy Cole to have a little chat about Womb Welfare. How long have you been running the cafe, Andy? Oh, me and my brother's been running it uh, 20 years. When we first started, we didn't know what to call it, so we just thought somebody just come and says, well, and just call it Cole Bros. So <laughs> we did, so, and all this, all this 20 years like, we've, uh, we know more people have come in, in cafe, they've passed away, we've got little ones, what now, as tall as me, what yeah. just come in, and the, the food, what we, uh, the shot and all that, everybody enjoys it because it's proper English food, like what we were used to doing. Yeah. That. And it's great. And, We've just got established the 20 year now and it's, it, it's brilliant because we know everybody in one well. Yeah, and yeah. it's like an home, yeah. a really nice home for everybody. And the, the fair? Oh, that's been going about 10 years. We started all that off when we tried to build on to community because it was, you know, that law. Right. Anyway, started doing it and getting everybody involved. So is this year coming, is that the 10th year? Or this is its 10th year this right, year. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. And uh, you've been managing the fair all uh, Yeah, we've time, been managing yeah. fair and, you know, and all these events. We have two events every year. So we have one at summer and one at Christmas. Right. Okay. Just encouraging all young people to come down, young kids, and enjoy it. Yeah, I've heard it's a real community affair. Lots of you running it and all mucking in to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's all it is. About yeah. communities getting together. How does the, the 1st of July fair differ from the last Saturday in November? Well, uh, it, it's uh, in summer, right? It's okay because it's nice and hot, and you get you're guaranteed to get all your rides coming. You've got your slides, and little ones are running about, and it's easier for them. But coming in winter time, you don't know. It's sometimes it can be hard. We depends on weather, cause yeah, you know what I mean. But but there's more about uh, the winter one, because you've got lights, illuminations, yeah, Christmas, Christmas tree Christmas switch theme. on. You've got. Uh, a fire display, you know, a firework display is good. Stuff, what else you got going on at the fair? Oh, we've got all stalls, communities get together, you know, different communities, try to get a bit of money for each other, for the different groups. Yeah. And uh, we have, you know, ice creams and that, and we give things away and that. Brilliant. And balloons. It's just like a part of giving something back to the community. Great. Um, where do you get the funding from? Well, fair. we get a lot of funding. We generally try and raise it, and we've got about 30, 40 members what pays £10 a month in. So that helps in funding everything we want to do, because as, as these people who shop in our community, we're getting something back to them. Yeah. So I think we're doing two events. It turns everybody, everybody turns out and enjoys it. Yeah, great. Uh, how do you get services involved then, like police? Fire and ambulance, is that difficult to arrange? Or yeah, well, not really. Sometimes, once we've had fire brigade coming, but you know how things are, and sometimes they can't, when they do come, they've got to be on hand in case yeah, there is yeah. a fire or that. But uh, all, police are always on hand because we keep in touch with them and let them know. Yeah. I understand that traffic goes through the fair. Is, yeah. is that a problem? or? Uh, well, in, in, in summer it's, all, it's okay because it's daylight, you know what I mean? It's yeah. the winter time where, where now in the winter time we should off for about half an hour and just let the buses come through. Right. Because it will gain where people, there were going to be danger if we didn't have done that. So yeah. now in the winter one we just shut it off and just let the buses come through and we just manage it as sense. Yeah, great. Um, How's the crowd been over the years then? What kind of people are you oh, getting? Oh, it's there? been fantastic. Fantastic. You, you know what I mean? Winter one and summer one, you can't compare. They're both about the same, really. Right. You know, when, when everybody's out in the summer clothes and all that, kids are on the rides, running right. You can see it, the atmosphere. It's about kids, you know, in general. Lots of families. Yeah, so. it's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, funniest thing that's ever happened at the fair? Yeah, well, the funniest thing was we we got a Punch and Judy to come. Anyway, when we realised that Punch and Judy come, they were real Punch and Judy's, but they were a bit out of date, but they were good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so they were yeah. really good. But they were scary. The old all. school yeah. ones, yeah, proper scary. <laughs> yeah. 
well, the kids enjoyed it. It kept them quiet while they were ready to go and see Santa. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So we're good. And Santa's a local well. No, he's, yeah, he's local. He's like, fantastic. Thanks very much, Andy. That's Wait, been brilliant. Really good Thank to you. hear about Wound Welfare. First Saturday in July. Yeah. And the winter one is the last Saturday in November. That's Sounds it. like a brilliant it's event. Uh, this is Matt Halden signing off from Red Tape.